Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 33rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to begin our discussion on numeric functions and the first function that we're going to check out is the absolute function and uh, it's the ABS function in, in SQL and uh, the absolute function those of you who have uh, you know some kind of programming uh, experience you know the, the, you know I'm sure you guys know that the absolute function returns the distance of a number from zero right so if a number is positive you know let's say 27 then the absolute value of that number would be 27 but if suppose that number is on the negative side of the number line uh, you know then the distance of the number from zero would still be a positive number right so it, it gives you the distance it doesn't tell you whether the number lies on the right side of the number line or right side of zero on the number line or whether it lies on the left side of zero on the number line so the way you use absolute function is you know I'll uh, get my cursor in the window so select ABS and then within parentheses you type in a number right so I'll type in 15 and uh, just execute the query and there you go you see that you know the absolute value of 15 is 15 and if I would type in uh, a negative sign here and if I would execute the query you would see that the absolute value of minus 15 is also 15 and you know the reason for that is uh, you know what I told you in the beginning of the tutorial so uh, let's now check out an application of the absolute function. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll use the two tables with which we worked the tutorial table and the tutorial underscore info table and you know I'll pull out information from both the tables using a joint but you know I would also see the absolute difference of the number of likes and dislikes for all the tutorials right. So the number of dislikes can be greater than number of likes for some tutorial right if people don't like um, you know something at all then probably there'll be more dislikes than likes right but if you use uh, the absolute function to get the difference of the number of likes and dislikes then you would never see a negative number in your result set right so let me just demonstrate this I'll type in uh, select first and uh, as in the previous tutorials I'll be using the alphabet T to refer to the tutorial table and uh, TI to refer to the tutorial underscore info table so I'll type in T dot title because the title column is present in the tutorial table and I'll put a comma and well actually on the next line I'll type in ABS and within parentheses I'll type in TI dot likes minus TI dot dislikes and uh, display this as a difference of likes and dislikes All right that's cool enough then on the next line I'll type in from tutorial as T and then join tutorial underscore info as ti I'll type in on and then the condition for join which would be t dot id equals ti dot tutorial underscore id put a semicolon when I execute this query you would see that I get the difference of likes and dislikes for all the tutorials right so for select query tutorial the likes uh, are probably you know 41 greater than the number of dislikes and you know for insert query uh, tutorial the likes are probably greater than uh, the dislikes by 22 so you know with this kind of results that you cannot tell whether the number of likes are greater than number of dislikes or the number of dislikes are greater than likes right th that, that that's something that you cannot tell if you've used the ABS function right but then sometimes you have to use it you know if you do not want to display negative data on the screen you just want to show positive data you know if you if you're just talking about differences between quantities and you're not really concerned about whether one quantity whether you know whether quantity a is greater than quantity b or whether b is greater than a you know if, if you're not uh, looking to get into that kind of stuff then absolute function is is something that you can use so anyway thank you so much for watching this one in the next tutorial we'll discuss another uh, numeric function and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next tutorial